streets chalk with your host Reggie B. Come on, let's all join in. Free your voice, it's your choice, all right here. Oh, simply straight, simply straight talk. Hey, you got a minute? Sure. Everything okay? I think I need to do something different in my life. I just feel like I'm stuck with my own thoughts and ideas and they're not going anywhere. Now, that alone is a terrifying thing. Ha 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 ha. I'm just playing with you, man. We well, you know, change will not come until you start the process. Yeah, but I need the process to move fast so I can get ahead. I'm also tired of this day-to-day living. Come on now. You know you have to make the first move towards whatever goals you're going after. I know you work hard, but if you want to get on the roof, it starts by setting up the ladder to position yourself to go higher. Wow. My homie dropping some serious knowledge. You're a real queen. Please. Like I already don't know that. And now, your host, Reggie Maddox, with the best radio talk on this side of the world. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Simply Straight Talk Show. This week we got another great topic for you, and this of course is your host, Reggie, bringing you the best topic and discussions on this side of the world. Today we're going to be talking about starting the process for change. Now, we all get or reach a point in our life, shall I say, where you feel like you need a change. You're tired of the way things are going. You're feeling like your life is stagnant. It's like you're going in circles. You're going to work every day with a fake smile. You're coming home, barely able to hold up any type of real smile because you're so stressed from the day that you've had. And you're just unhappy about where you are. It could be your job. It could be your finances. It could be your medical stuff. It could be health, your weight. I mean, bad habits. I mean, the people around you, friends, or maybe you just want to get more of an education. But there's something in your life that you want to change because you reached the point where you realize that I'm better than this. I, I should be so much further than what I am right now. I don't want to be here next year. And everybody feels like that at some point. And sometimes it's just the fact that you just really feel and you know inside of you that there's more to you than what you are. There's more to you than what you're doing. Some of us are working jobs that don't challenge us. We're not using our full potential. And of course, there's always the fact that you're underpaid. Some of us are trying to get our weight down. Some of us, like me, and some of us are trying to get our finances in order. Some of us trying to get our living situations in order. We're in an apartment. We want to go to a house. Maybe you want to go to a bigger apartment. Maybe you want to buy a new car. But overall, you want your life to be in a place to where you feel more more content and more secure. Because basically, here's the bottom line. You want stability in your life. And everybody wants stability. You want stability in your relationship. You want stability in your finances. You want stability in your home We all want stability. It's not a matter of just being rich or saying, I want to be famous. It's about the fact that you want to live comfortable. You want to do something that you're passionate about and that you enjoy doing. You want to get up in the morning, enjoying the fact that you're going to do a job that you enjoy doing. You want to go to the store. And if you're like me, Looking Instead of looking in the clothing section where they only got like five or ten things that fit you, you know, you want to be able to shop in any store. Because I can tell you right now, I can't go to Macy's, I can't go to Dillard's, and I can't go to JCPenney. All right? Limited options. Hey, I'm just being truthful, man. That's how we do it on the Simply Straight Talk, man. I'm just telling you the truth. But it all starts with you. Because at some point, you have to change your mindset to where you say, you know what? I want this to change. And I'm not talking about me starting in two weeks or me started in three weeks. I'm meaning I need to start to change right now. I need to make the difference right now. I want a change in my life because I'm bigger than what I am. I'm better than what I am. There are more things that I could be doing in my life that are giving me more pleasure. 
I could be helping people. I can be a better influence into my home, to my family, to my kids. I can be doing more than what I'm doing and feel happy. And a lot of people just feel like they're stuck and they're not stuck. It just means you got to do two things. Start the process and be willing to make a sacrifice. Okay, that means not going out all the time. You know what I'm saying? It means you got to change some of those things you do that really are not productive in your life to make room for some of the things that's going to get you to that next level. And that's what we want to talk about today. We want to talk about starting the process. And what I want to do is I want to take you from scratch. I want to take you from scratch because many people who want to change their life. There's a couple of mistakes that people make. And one of the biggest mistakes that people make is they just pick something out of the blue and go after it. Now, I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but sometimes it doesn't work out because you didn't plan. You And then they come to find out like, OK, I went after this, but this is not what I want to do. I don't like this. It's not what I thought it was. So that's why you got to create a process. And to create the process, we're going to start like this. The first thing I need you to do is sit down and create a list of five things. Now, I know somebody out there right now saying, oh, my God, here we go with a list. Here's the reason that it's highly recommended that you write a list when you do certain tasks, especially something like this. Because when you sit there and just think about it, that's all you're doing. You just got rambling thoughts going through your head. But when you take it, those thoughts and put them on paper, now, not only you just see, you're not just mentally picturing everything, you visually, you're looking at what you're writing down. And you'll be surprised that when you start writing stuff down on this list, so many things you're going to be like, why did I put that down? Am I sure about that? So that's why we do the list. The list is going to help you eliminate and prioritize what you're really going after. So that's the first thing you need to do. Pick five things. Don't pick more than five things. Pick five important important things that you want to change about your life, that you want to be different in the next couple of years. Okay? Now, once you pick those five things, okay, the next thing that you're going to have to do is research each one. Now, somebody's saying, oh, here we go. See, this is the problem. When you start a business, well, that's your, your, treat your life like it's a business. You want to take care of it. Everybody who starts a business, their ultimate goal is for their business to succeed and grow and profit. You want your life to grow in a professional and personal way. And you want your life to show that you profited from what you've done in your life, the things you've accomplished. Now, now that we said that, Research, research those five things that you put down on that list. Okay. And you need to determine what is needed and required to accomplish each one of those things. If you're talking about going back to school and getting a bachelor's degree, then you need to figure out, I got to register for school. How much is it going to cost? Will I get financial aid? What's the travel time? When are the classes? How long is it going to take for me to finish? How many classes do I have to take? You need to figure all that stuff out. And that's going to come into play a little bit in just a few minutes here. But you need to figure out what it's going to take. It's the same thing like if you're starting a business. You don't just want to go say, hey, I'm going to go open up a restaurant. You want to make sure that you're opening up a restaurant that's not the same as everything around you. You want to make sure that you're offering something that has a demand. You want to do your research. okay? so do your research. Find out about those five things that you selected. What's required in order to be successful in that and what's needed to reach that level to where you've achieved that goal of getting it. okay? so research those five things. Now, once you research those five things, now I'm going to ask you to do something else. Yes, it's another list. I need you to create a list with two rows. Okay. One is going to tell you, you're going to put down one list is what do you want? Which one do you want the most? Okay. That's what you're going to put down. You're going to list them one through five. Number one being the top thing. 
What do you want the, which thing do you want the most out of those five items you put down? Then on the next bar, okay, right over. So you got one list of importance of which one you really want. The, the other side is going to be another list just saying which one can you realistically achieve and what is the timeline to achieve it? This is important because a lot of times we'll put stuff down and say, oh, yeah, this is a list. This is what I want to do. This is important. But then again, we fail to actually account for how realistic it is to achieve this goal. Now, I'm not saying that you can't achieve everything on your list, but you need to have a realistic timeline because some people say, well, you know what? I want to open a restaurant. Fine. Or you want to write a book. Well, you need to determine what's realistic. Do you actually, after you looked and find out, like writing a book, as you go through the editing process, the cost, if it's a children's book, you got to figure out the pages, the drawings, who's going to have the rights, who's not going to have the rights. So it's a lot of stuff that goes into it. Are you just doing an audible? Are you doing a paperback? So it's a lot of things you need to figure out. So this helps you to get realistically, what can you finish in what timeline? And it's also, like I said, when we talked about what was required, that's the resources going to be included already in the required section. When you did the research, the research, I'm sorry, the research section is going to list also account for your resources. So when you go to do this second list of what do you really want versus what's realistic, it'll help you to determine, you know, in the realistic view, based on the resources that you determined was needed under you, when you did your research. Which one you can you realistically achieve in the time frame that you want to achieve it? Now, next thing we need to do is plan how you're going to pursue. How are you going to pursue your goals? How are you going to attain? How are you going to pursue the process? What are you going to do to make everything you want work? What you've chosen is how you've chosen to go after, how are you going to make it work? Okay. So when we talk about plan, how you're going to pursue it, what we're talking about is what are you going to do? Okay. So you know what you want to do. You determine that what you want to do, you got your five list, you got your number one, you determine which one was more realistic. You decided that's the one you're going for. Now you have to determine how are you going to align everything to where you can reach that objective, to where you can make that happen. And this is going to include figuring out time management. If you're going back to school, figuring out how your work hours are going to affect you going back to school, you being able to study at home, the cost of it. So you got to figure that stuff out. You got to figure out how you're going to implement your goal, the objectives you need to complete the task, rather, is going to take to meet your goal into your regular life because some people say, Oh, I'm going back to school, but they forget. Okay. I'm taking classes. Even if you're taking online classes, you got to make sure that you make time for these things. That's going to go into you achieving your goals. You got to plan. Okay. And you got to figure out where can you sacrifice time? Because that's going to be the big thing. A lot of reasons. One of the main reasons that people don't succeed when they are trying to accomplish or do or make a change in their life is the fact that they don't actually sit down and truly figure out the time management part of it. And when they don't do that, they get discouraged because now they're starting to feel like they're overwhelmed. I did too much. This is too much. I can't handle this. No, they just did not properly plan their time management of how they're going to implement this into their current life. I guess they just figured that it's going to be an extra eight hours added to the day to make it work. It doesn't work like that. You're going to have to cut back somewhere in your life. So if you're a person that like to go out and party, you have to cut back on that. If you're a person that like to hang out with your friends, you may have to cut back on that. So you're going to have to sacrifice time somewhere to dedicate to completing this. Next thing is, Positive influences. This, this is so key. And I know it sounds small, but one of the biggest things that you're going to need to do is make sure that you got positive influences in your inner circle. 
because you're going to find a lot of people that's going to be a little negative, a lot of people that's going to be discouraging. So make sure you got positive influences in your ear. So if you're going to work, instead of listening to news or something, find something positive, something motivational for you to listen to that's going to kind of get you up. You know what I'm saying? Going to get you excited. Listen to motivational videos of success stories of people who've achieved in the area that you're trying to achieve in. You want to get more positive messages going through your head and get all that negative stuff out. Because if you don't, you're going to find that you're going to start feeling drained. You're going to start feeling tired. And all that stuff is just going to affect your ultimate and end results. So make sure positive influences, there's people, there's videos, there's music. Keep it positive. Hey, we're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back. We are you here on the Simply Straight Talk Show? Don't even think about it. We got more straight talk just for you. Hello, Simply Straight Talk family. If you are enjoying this episode, at the end of the show, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and leave a review. And why not share this with a friend? Also, visit our blog at newlifenewmind.com, where you can find additional articles on more great topics. Stay tuned. The show will continue right after this message. We're back with the conversation starter and the voice that works harder. Your host, Reggie. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the second part of the show. And today we're talking about starting the process for change. You know, I was really excited to do this episode because I understand and I see every day that there's a lot of people who want to make changes in their life. And for some people, it's easier than it is for others. And I know some people say, well, all you got to do is do it. Yeah, that is somewhat true. But people have different obstacles that they have to overcome. And I think the biggest obstacle that everybody has to overcome is just changing your mindset, man. It's just changing your mind and accepting the fact that I got to start. I got to do something. That's why we talked in the first part of the show about creating the list of five things you want and you want to do. Then we talked about breaking that list down to five things that you want to do and five things that you know realistically you can achieve based on the timeline and the research you had to do on each one. We talked about positive influences, which that is what you're going to need. You don't need negative people telling you, oh, it's not going to happen. That takes too long. Why you want to do that? If it's in your heart and you're passionate about it and your mind is set that you're going to achieve this task, then go for it. You need positive people, man, not negative people, positive people encouraging you. I hope I said that right. But positive people that's going to encourage you to go after your dream and not try to hold you back or discourage you. And another thing I want to tell people is pace yourself. And I know when, when, when you're looking at your life and you're like, man, I'm getting older in years, you know, I'm not getting younger and I'm trying to make this change and I feel like I'm, I've waited too long. You haven't waited too long. Pace yourself, even for the younger crowd, pace yourself. Don't try to tackle so many things at once because you're just going to get overwhelmed. You're going to build up anxiety and you're going to get worried. And you're going to end up dropping something. So pace yourself. Get your game plan together. Figure out how you're going to manage this time-wise. How you're going to implement what you need to do in your life. And just pace yourself one step at a time. And just realize that there is the possibility there may be setbacks. It could be different things. You know, you might have lost your job. Income might be slow. Extra bill might have popped in. Anything. But don't give up. Just let you know that, hey, this is a temporary setback. I'm still going to be on my grind. So just remember that. Pace yourself. OK, now. Take note of things that have a negative effect on your mindset, and I, I think this is something that I had to learn, but I learned it so late in life. And I think it's something that we really do underestimate. And that's the fact that you need to take note of what are the things that you encounter throughout your day or during a week that actually make you question what you're trying to do. 
Because you need to figure out a way to either avoid that, figure out a way to counter that with something positive, but you need to figure out what is it that I encounter that makes me say, oh, I can't do this, or I don't want to do this, or maybe I'm wasting my time. And it can be a variety of things. It can be people. It could be you watching the news. It could be hearing somebody else talking about how they failed. I mean, it's just different things that can affect you negatively. Are you getting enough sleep? Because when you don't get enough sleep, you can't focus right. Your mind is sort of running on autopilot. Your body is kind of like, I'm tired. I don't feel like doing this, which makes you start to feel like, I don't want to do this. So don't listen to Steve Harvey about rich people don't sleep. That's a lie. On the way he get his crazy talk from. But anyway, make sure that you are taking note of the things that really do affect you, really do have a negative impact on your life. People like Steve Harvey. So, but just make sure you take, I shouldn't have said that. Make sure you take note of those things because those things ultimately can either discourage you or they will start to build up inside of you because you're not countering that type of mindset with something positive. That's why we said in the first segment, you need to install positive influences in your life, whether it's motivational videos, where it's either songs. I mean, YouTube has thousands of motivational stuff. That's all free. Create a playlist and play it when you go to work. Play it. When you go out through the day, if you read the Bible, read your Bible. Um, we also got a living in prayer channel, uh, podcast that's just and all it is is just 30 second clips of inspirational messages. Something like that can just snap you right back into the mode. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. Next, you need to determine what you want to achieve this for and why. See, that's the biggest thing. And I think a lot of people will set goals and say, oh, I want to do this. But they don't have a reason why. And they run out of steam. See, motivation is not just, oh, I want to do it. There has to be a reason that you want to do it. You know, because two years ago, I lost 73 pounds. I lost 73 pounds. Now, of course, I gained it back, but I lost 73 pounds. And I couldn't figure out, like, okay, why is it so hard for me now to lose this weight? Then I came to realize that. My motivation, it wasn't I wanted to lose weight, but it was the reasoning that made me want to lose the weight. My reason for wanting to lose weight is what motivated me. It wasn't the fact that, okay, I want to lose weight. I found a reason. It was a reason. It was two people that I just wanted to live for and show, and I still love them to death. But I wanted to show them. So when I went back home, I had lunch with one kid. You know, it was just the time I couldn't get a hold of either one because everybody was busy. But anyway, the point, the moral of that little story is I'll tell you the whole story another time. But the moral of the story is you have to have a reason behind why you're doing something. Okay. And, And you need to have a benefit behind it. Not just, oh, I want to be a lawyer. You want to be a lawyer. Why? Do you want to be a lawyer so you can defend those of low income people who can't afford lawyers? Do you want to be a lawyer because you want to be an environmental lawyer? Do you want to be a lawyer because you want to help those who have been incarcerated unjustly? You got to have a valid reason as to why. There has to be some reason behind what you're doing because that will push your motivation. That will push you to want to do more and go further and work harder. So when you reach those days when you do feeling like I'm getting discouraged, you know, that's what you draw from. It could be your kids. It could be your husband. It could be your wife. It could be your family. It could be the simple fact that you just want to build something for the future. Or maybe you want to help other people, but you got to have a motivating factor behind what you're doing. Okay. Respect and understand the process. This is important. You got to realize something. Anytime you want to achieve goals in life or anytime you set goals in life, there's going to be a process. There is going to be a process. And, you know, you said, well, somebody won the lottery and, you know, well, their whole life has changed and they didn't have to do all this because they're rich now. But you know what? To tell the truth, it was a process. 
because that person had to make a decision that I'm going to go buy a lottery ticket. I'm going to go to this store and buy a lottery ticket. I'm going to spend this much money on the lottery ticket. It may seem like some small steps, but it was a part of the process because the process was getting up, going to the place where they bought the ticket from, investing the money into the ticket, buying the ticket. It was a process. If they had eliminated the first, the eliminate the process of actually buying the ticket, they wouldn't have won the lottery. It's the same thing with being athletes. If you want to be a great athlete, the process starts with you mastering the game, understanding the game. You know, one thing I like about Peyton Manning was he was a quarterback that understood the game. He was like a brain, a football brain, because he took the time to learn the game. It is all a process. The process is going to involve learning. It's going to involve dedicating your time. It's going to involve sacrificing leisure things in order for the greater things that you want to achieve later in life. So it is a process. It is a process. Respect the process and stick to it. You create the process of the timeline of what you want to do and how you're going to do it, and you stick to it. Hey, we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back. You are listening to the Simply Straight Talk Show. I'm trying to motivate you, man, to get up, get out, be something, be somebody, because you are somebody. Hey, this is your host, Reggie B. So y'all keep it tuned right here, man. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere, baby. Because we coming back with the final word of today's show. You're listening to Simply Straight Talk. RM Viaging is a company based on life's journey and sharing life lessons with the world in the form of laughter and reflection. Inspiring people to go after their dreams and not giving up on life. RM Viaging creates inspirational music and motivational speeches designed to motivate all age groups. Visit our website at www.rmviaging.com to hear samples of our music. You will also find motivational articles on our blog page titled New Life, New Mind Blog. We also have a weekly podcast hosted by Reggie called Simply Straight Talk, all on our website at www.rmviaging.com. Free your mind, free your voice right here on Simply Straight Talk. What's up, Simply Straight Talk family? We are back with the final word for today's show. And today we were talking about starting the process for change. You know, as we said in the beginning of the show, everybody wants to change in their life. Everybody wants to find something about their life that they want to be better. More stability, financial stability, relationship stability. People just want to be happy. Job, career stability, business stability. We all have something that we want, but you can't get it until you start the process. And that means you got to start the process of elimination by figuring out what is it exactly you want to do. And what it's going to take to achieve it. Now, a lot of people like to jump the gun and don't want to do the research. The research is pretty much the most important part because it's going to tell you what you need, what's required and the resources that you're going to need to achieve it. Whether it's financial or just time. Either way, you got to be willing to invest and sacrifice. Look at it like this. Picture your life like a house. And you want to get to the roof, to the top, to the top. You want to get on top of your roof. In order to get on top of your roof, you got to find an access point. That means you got to get a ladder and determine what's some good foundation to set that ladder on that's going to climb up, that's going to get you to that access point where you can get on top of your roof. Your life is the same way when you want to achieve certain goals. When you want to make your life better, when you want to change your life, You got to start the process, man, of positioning that ladder, that ladder, (laughs) so you can actually get to the top of where you're trying to go. You can't do it just sitting around. You can't do it if you keep pushing it off to the next day, to the next day, to the next day. Well, I can't do it this week. I'm going to start next week. I'm not going to start this week. I'm going to start the week after. Or I'm going to wait to see if somebody else get involved. I'm going to get other people's opinion. What you need is your own heart. And mind 
in one accord that you're going to do this. And you're going to start right now. You're going to start right now. No more delays, no more excuses, no more timeouts, no more waiting for other people's opinions or other people's approval. You need to change your mind and get in your mind that this is what I want to do. And this is the reason why I'm doing it. Whether it's for your kids, your family, your husband, your wife, you're doing it because you want a better life for you and the people you love. Or maybe you just love yourself to where you know that there is more to you than where you are in life right now. And you deserve better. So why not go get better? Don't wait and hope that better comes. Go get it. You deserve it. It's in you. God put it in you. So don't be afraid of change. Don't be afraid of success. Don't be afraid to go after what you want. Fight for it. You got to write for it. All right. All right. Hey, now that's it for today's show, man. I appreciate you guys. And once again, and as always, I thank you for the love and support. I thank you for everybody tuning in and always watching the show. I mean, listening to the show. (laughs) Hey, guys, I really appreciate it. And I'm so grateful and I'm so thankful. So I'm really trying to work on some things that I can do to really show that love back. We are going to start back doing the giveaways. Actually, we already have for those who subscribe to the show. Don't forget to check out our Living in Prayer podcast. And we will be back next week. Now, next week will be the final episode for season four. And we're going to jump into season five. And I know a lot of you guys were not happy with the fact that we didn't do a music review this year. But let me tell you something for next season five. okay, for season five coming up and it's going to start like two to three. Well, I'm going to say it's going to start two weeks after season four ends. okay? we got a great highlight feature of Sate. You know, she's a great singer man so we got some great things coming up for season five so y'all stay tuned y'all check us out and don't forget come back next week when we're gonna talk about sex and money that's right we going there with it so y'all be here to check out that show man once again thank you guys always man i appreciate the love i appreciate the support thank you for joining us right here on the simply straight talk show this is your man reggie maddox and i will see you next week episode thank you for listening and being a part of the simply straight talk podcast we truly appreciate your support be sure to visit us at simplystraighttalk.com to join the conversation access show notes and discover our fantastic bonus content on patreon thank you for listening and don't forget to join us next week for another episode